Hey everybody, welcome, hey everybody, welcome back to Code Review Guru. It's been a while, right? Um, I've actually had some people message me and was like, hey, these are pretty good, so why don't you keep going with the explanations? Um, and I thought a little bit about it uh, for Hacker One, um, going through all of these, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just go through them as I go through them. Um, I already know, as you can see, I got two invitations. I already know what this is about, and I don't think it's that bad. So, I mean, honestly, you can only benefit if you really understand what you're doing. So, um, yeah, that being said, I was just going to go through the uh, answer or the solution to, um, which one was this? I jumped down and did the H1 thermostat. I think last time I worked out everybody was like moderate but as you see I jumped around and did some other ones um, I've also been playing with hack the box and stuff so I'll come back on this and finish this up and then I'll move on to other ones so all right that being said I'm gonna go down to the most recent one I did which was h1 thermostat uh, this dealt with some mobile hacking um, yeah, mobile penetration testing. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you how I went about getting this solution. So when you click on the, um, when you click on go, it sends you here, right? And I was slow the first time. I was just like, let me click, let me click, let me click, let me click. I realized, oh, cause I was also distracted. I realized, oh, this is not the, um, <laughs> this is a part of it, right? So I uh, went to inspect element. And drop down here. Really I went to page um page source first. So I went to page source, sorry. So the page source and I saw all of this. Took a couple of googling some things to realize that this is your key right here. So what I needed to do here was edit this. So it's basically saying xhr.send um, URL plus blah, blah, blah. So what, this is basically a redirection. Um, and they're telling you to insert your URL. So uh, your URL is honestly you're this part so you're trying to redirect to wherever you want to go I mean I, <laughs> it sounds horrible you're trying to <laughs> redirect your, you're trying to get this to redirect you um, your APK is supposed to um, for my for my assumption is supposed to be downloading um, to you I don't think you can I don't know if you can get all that from that but that wasn't I just realized this URL I was like, oh, let me let me put something here. So in order to do that, you have to go into to not accessibility, but inspector, and go down to the script, and here. You just edit this part. I'm using Firefox, by the way. So, right here, I just insert the um, URL. Leave the quotes there. And then press Enter. And then usually, as soon as you press Enter, I think I refresh the page. Yeah, okay, so you refresh the page. And then you get this link here. So when you click on this link, don't worry, you can click on it. You get the APK file. So you save the APK file, which I already did. Um, and then you go to where you saved it. Now, I'm using Ubuntu. Uh, I can't really tell you much if you're using something else. Um, because honestly, this is the first time I ever had to do a uh, mobile app before, so it was kind of yeah, 
for me personally. But in any case, I wound up um, going to where it was, which was in downloads, and that's my APK. Now at first, I like changed this because I realized if you change the um, the extension to like a zip, it will allow you to see the files, and I extracted the files. So I went through and I didn't see anything. I didn't see a flag or anything, but I did see classes.dex. And from my research, I found that that holds a lot of the methods and all this, just, just a whole bunch of things. So I was like, you know what? None of this is really holding, this is just holding metadata for me. And none of this really seems to be doing anything. So classes.dex might be where I need to go. So I looked up how to get into, um, how to get into all that. Um, and ultimately it came down to me having to install uh, Android Studio, which I did here. Again, I'm using Ubuntu, so you can actually go into the terminal and there's a, um, I can, I think I can, yeah, I'll, I'll drop in my description the command that I use. In any case, um, I got here, right? And this is what you see. What you wanna do when you um, open it, let me, let me take you through what I actually did. So I exit out of this. So once I downloaded the file and installed uh, Android Studio, I then opened it. And because you already have the APK file, um, whenever it wants to pop up, all you have to do is up, not upload, but open the APK file from there. Of course, my computer is going to take forever, so I'm going to give it a second. Okay. All right, this made no sense. Well, this was no point of closing it because it opened it right back where it was. But uh, in that case, uh, when you do open it, uh, you're going to see something. I think you're going to see like projects, something else. Uh, and what you basically want to do is just upload it or open it. Uh, close this. Let me see if I can do a new. Yeah, so you might see new pro. Uh, nope, it's not that. As you can see, there's the flag, but. Oh, you want to go to pro. So when you first open it, you want to go to profile or debug ABK. And then it's going to show you all this, right? And. Close this up, but it's going to show you. It's going to open this up. This is your classes.dex. So this is all the things. I think they wrote it in Java, and they're pretty much. You go through. I went through. I think most of these, not all of them, but I kind of. I was just looking for something that stood out. So I looked through that. Didn't see anything. Didn't see anything. Um, eventually, what I did was look and look at the hints, and the hints was like check I think it said something about communication and then it said something about what is it sending to the server and that's when I was like oh let me you know you know look a little bit further and I'm trying to figure out where exactly it was was it hacker one level 11 yeah so when I saw hacker one I uh, com dot hacker one or 101 I was like oh bingo this is where they want me to see because why else would they put that and then I start looking further and further and I see payload requests and something's just like payload requests. Payload, like that doesn't seem right. So I opened it from there and boom, that's where I saw the flag. So from there I just copied and pasted the flag into, um, into um, uh, Hacker 101, so capture the flag. So that's how I captured the H1, the first um, thermostat um uh, flag and yeah any other questions <laughs> just you can comment below if you have any questions uh something new here too um i'm actually doing these on live on twitch tv so i'll also leave a, a link in the description for my twitch it's twitch.tv slash guru where i'm pretty much just going through um and painstakingly <laughs> 
looking for these flags. Um, if you've already been in penetration testing or you're, you're just starting out, don't be discouraged if it takes you a long time. Uh, these, these things do take time. And I was like, well, if I'm going to take this much time and flail this much, let me just go ahead and stream it because, you know, people may want to see. Uh, so come in and hang out. You know, if you want to add to it, uh, you can if you want to backseat it and say, hey, you could do this. Have you tried this? Like, let's work together and, and probably solve these. And <laughs> I'll even at you on here and say, hey, this was tag team with such and such um, on the Twitch. So, yeah, that's that flag, and um, yeah, I hope to drop a couple more of these today. And till next time, catch you on the flip side, guys. All right, guys. So I just realized that um, <laughs> while I was doing that other one, that the other flag is in there as well. So. When I went back and looked at, uh, I started scrolling down a little bit more, I realized, oh, there's a second flag. So literally when you're in this file, both flags are in this file. And I think the, the second flag's uh, hint is that Mac looks funny. And then I saw flag and so on and so forth. So I'm pretty sure they probably wanted you to solve it in a different way, but, um, yeah, I just, I guess I kind of just tore through that one. So that's your second flag. They're both in the same um, file. And you catch it that way. There's probably another, there's most likely definitely another way to solve this. So um, if you happen to know that and you happen to know how to solve that, leave something in the comment below and say how you solved this problem because apparently this seemed easier, but there's different ways to break something. So uh let it be known how you how you fixed it uh so again <laughs> until next time i guess i'll uh i'll do another one and upload that video so talk to you soon guys